It's no secret that there's a growing concern over tariffs and their impact on consumer prices, and companies like Walmart and Lowe's are sounding the alarm, warning that if tariffs increase, prices will skyrocket. Hello, our viewers, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to hit on the, the notification bell and subscribe because you will like our content. And if you love our content, then don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up by tapping on the like button and be part of the commenter squad by sharing your thoughts your views in the comment section down below now just like i said as walmart cfo blatantly put it if tariffs go up people's pockets are going to go down this isn't just about corporate profits it's about the real people who will be affected by these price hikes the international trade commission has already shown that tariffs can have devastating effects on consumers and taxpayers and a study on the tariffs imposed on washing machines found that while they may have protected some domestic jobs they ended up costing consumers and taxpayers over eight hundred thousand dollars per job saved so what does this really mean for people now as we explore the implications of these tariffs we'll hear from different people who are weighing on the issue from the potential impact on our wallets to broader consequences for the economy we will break it all down and explore what this truly really means to people so with that said let's take a look at the videos i will be right back and when i do i'll share more information on this the cfo of walmart said of tariffs go up our pockets are going to go down. The CFO of Walmart just released a statement today stating that if tariffs are increased once Trump goes into office and gets inaugurated, then we're going to have to see higher prices in the store. That means no more $5.98, no more $9.98, no more $10.98 pricing. Those prices are going to go up and Walmart CFO has confirmed it. Lowe's enters the chat and also stated the same thing. The CFO of Lowe's came out today and said, yeah, we're on the same page. If the tariffs go up, y'all might as well go ahead and, and cough it up because prices are going to go up too. I won't be surprised if Target says the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if any other retail chain says the same thing because if tariffs go up, like I said in my other video that got 2 million views, it's going to come out of our pockets. And what's crazy is people are like, oh, well, if we shipped and supplied it ourselves, we wouldn't have to worry about tariffs. Do y'all not realize how much comes from China and Korea? And it's not just China and Korea, things that are created in France like a lot, there are some vegetables and 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 fruits that we cannot grow because our vegetation and our environment does not allow it we have to ship certain goods we have to ship certain foods and fruits and vegetables that's the only way we're going to get it it has to be shipped in it has to be imported so if y'all like, whoever said that prices were going to go down i don't know who told y'all that prices are not going to go down next year it's, you thought this year was bad we're entering the age of Aquarius. Shit's about to get real. Walmart and Lowe's. Um, Walmart and Lowe's, what are they called? CFO? CEOs? Have both announced that because of the upcoming tariffs, they are going to raise prices in their stores. So groceries and home supplies are both going to go up and seeing Lowe's gets most of their supplies from China it's going to go up a lot and uh, so that's going to go straight to the consumers who wanted cheaper groceries yes Walmart and Lowe's have both announced that they are going to raise their prices in anticipation of the up and coming tariffs um, so if you have any home projects or need groceries right now, it would probably be a better time while grocery prices are low. Talk about F around and find out, huh? FO Walmart just did an interview with uh, CNBC and he says, we never want to raise prices. Our model is everyday low prices, but there are probably will be cases where prices will go up for consumers and check this out low cfo told the investors on an earnings call that tariffs certainly would add product cost because 40 percent of the company cost of goods sold came from outside of us i am not saying i'm better than anybody here okay i'm just saying this is the literal definition of f around and find out because i am also a walmart shopper it is not good for me either, but 
Unfortunately, this is the hand that we're dealt and we're gonna all have to deal with this. The effed up thing is my washer and dryer is on its last leg and I was actually like looking at those things from Lowe's recently because they have some that are on sale and I was thinking about buying them for Black Friday. My God, man. Ooh, ooh, I know why. Pick me. Aside from the whole they still don't get a thing because they'll never get it. But interesting, the real reason that the companies are coming out and saying, hey, these tariffs are going to make prices go up and confirming this for consumers is because the prices are going to go up, but they're never going to go back down. Kind of like COVID. Once supply chain, you know, worked itself out, the prices just never went back down. They were making record profits. So like they were good. If we were paying it, why would they drop the prices? So again, this is that. Again, this is them preemptively saying, this is why the prices are going to go up. You know, in the words of the great wise Elon Musk, the Americans are just going to have to live within their means for a while. Not that he can solve world hunger. Anyway, um, yeah, but then they're never going to go back down. And we're just going to continue to pay these prices for the rest of time. And minimum wage will still be $7.25. So that's why they can blame somebody else, even though they supported PACs that supported Trump. So that's why. So Lowe's and Walmart have announced that they will most likely be raising prices because of the proposed tariffs that Trump will put on goods that they import from other countries. And it made me think about this time when I was in London, right before Brexit had passed. And there were protests on the streets, um, everywhere we went. And I asked people that were living in England what they thought about Brexit. And this one woman that I knew explained to me this way. She said that, well, you know, if they double the price of champagne that imports from France, we're still going to drink champagne. And she was right. She still drinks champagne. And people who buy champagne will still drink champagne. Um, but that's not who the tariffs are really going to affect. The tariffs are going to affect the people that shop at Walmart and Lowe's. So when the cost uh, of goods goes up for things that people need for their kids or for school or for their home, that's who's going to feel it, not the people who drink the champagne. We have huge breaking news right now. Both Walmart and Lowe's are sounding the alarms that they may have to raise prices on goods for consumers because of Donald Trump's tariffs plan. Today, both Walmart CFO and the CFO of Lowe's said that prices likely will go up if tariffs are imposed according to Donald Trump's economic plan. Specifically, Trump campaigned on a plan to institute up to 20% tariffs on all incoming goods and up to 100% tariffs on goods coming in from China. And just for example, Lowe's actually 40% of the goods they sell to Americans comes from China. If tariffs are imposed, Walmart and Lowe's will be charging you more for the things you buy. It's really that simple. And their CFOs are now sounding the alarm just two months before Trump is set to be inaugurated. This is the first big impact we are seeing from Trump's economic policies. And they haven't even taken effect yet. So if tariffs are implemented, your costs are only going to go up. Watch this whole video, but I just wanted to jump in and, and say we're... We're raising alarms now, not not in the months before the election when we could have actually done something about it. But but now you guys are going to come out and raise alarms that tariffs will raise prices on consumers. Um, you know, too little, too late, guys. Like you all should have come out and said that months ago before the election when people could have done something about it. The only reason you're raising alarms now is you don't want the public to be mad at you specifically when you raise these prices. But you were happy to allow everybody to vote for the man first. Well, big congratulations to you, Trump voters. Lowe's and Walmart, two of your favorite places, at least one of your favorite places, has just announced that if Trump puts in those tariffs, 
they are definitely raising their prices considerably. Thanks to you guys. You know, I wish we had manufacturing in America, but putting a tariff on something is not how we get it back. We're never getting it back. We don't have that kind of economy anymore. But you ducks are so good. <laughs> you think tariffs are going to make these countries pay. No. Tariffs are going to make you and me pay. And I didn't vote for this shit. You did. <sighs> Walmart and Lowe's is a bunch of dumbasses. We're still under Donald Trump's tariffs. Right now. Have they raised their prices? Biden hasn't done away with Donald Trump's tariffs. But I digress. But go ahead, let them. We just won't shop there. We have Home Depot. We have Target, which I don't like shopping at Target, but oh well, I guess I'll have to go to Target. Ha. Huh. See how that works? We just move away from them and go to other companies? But then again, Walmart and Lowe's are anti-Trump. Have a good day. If you thought buying things under Biden while blowing your entire paycheck on merchandise relating to a cult was bad, just wait until you get a hold of the prices of goods when Donald Trump's tariffs kick in. Because why wouldn't we listen to 16 Nobel Prize winning economists? Why wouldn't we listen to Webster's Dictionary for the definition of what a tariff actually is? Why wouldn't we listen to educated people that went to college specifically to study economics and report that tariffs will do nothing but cause inflation? If you're someone who voted for Kamala Harris, I'm sorry to tell you, this is what we get now. If you're one of the people who decided not to go out and vote this year, and if you voted for Donald Trump, I hope you're ready to eat crow, because pretty soon, that's all you're going to be able to afford to eat. So go watch that whole video if you haven't seen it yet. It's about how the chief financial officers of both Walmart and Lowe's have rung the alarm, quote unquote, about how costs for the consumers are going to go up if Trump's tariff plan does get enacted. Now I'm going to say this. There's two points to this that are really need to be made. One, the fact that they didn't announced this earlier almost gives way to a thought that even as high up as those people are in those organizations, the billion dollar organizations that those two places are, they didn't think Trump was going to win, so they didn't have to deal with this. And two, y'all wanted Trump, y'all wanted his tariffs, you're finding out now. Now, on the campaign trail, Trump touted the idea of tariffs as a way to increase domestic manufacturing and lower prices of U.S. made products. Now, the president-elect has proposed a 10 to 20 percent tariff on all imports and as much as 60 percent on goods from China. But economists have warned that U.S. businesses and consumers will ultimately pay the price of tariffs, which will hurt inflation and make goods more expensive. Corporate executives were taking a wait-and-see approach to President-elect Donald Trump's vow to impose heavy tariffs on imports when he takes office in January, but many have raised concerns about the effect such levies will have on inflation. Now, numerous major U.S. corporations addressed tariffs at recent investor events and on conference calls, including some after the November 5 election when Trump aged out sitting Vice President Kamala Harris. Walmart, the nation's largest retailer, suggested on Tuesday after reporting results that prices could increase if tariffs rise. We are concerned that significantly increased tariffs could lead to increased costs for our customers at a time when they are still feeling the remnants of inflation, a Walmart spokesperson said. Now, Trump has vowed to make tariffs, which are a fraction of U.S. tax collections, central to his economic agenda. Executives have been increasingly fielding questions on the subject, with many noting ongoing efforts to continue to diversify their supply chains, particularly away from China, Trump's top target. Now, since the beginning of September, executives from nearly 200 companies in the S&P Composite Index discussed tariffs on earnings, calls, or at investor conferences, nearly doubling the same period in the run-up to the 2020 election, and far more than the 23 mentions in 2023, according to LSEG data. 
Now, roughly 40% of our cost of goods sold are sourced outside of the U.S., and that includes both direct imports and national brands through our vendor partners. Lowe's CFO Brandon Singh said on Tuesday, and as we look at the potential impacts of tariffs, it, it certainly would add to product cost. Now, Trump has floated the idea of 60% tariffs on China, the world's largest exporter, and universal tariffs of 10% or more, which he says is necessary to eliminate the U.S. trade deficit. Oxford Economics estimated a 60% China tariff could boost U.S. inflation by 0.7 percentage points, and across the board tariffs would boost inflation by 0.3 points. Now, Oxford believes any tariffs would be gradually introduced, but some analysts are worried about a shock effect. Now, Trump 47 won't be a mere replay of Trump 45, said chief economist at Annex Wealth Management, noting that the president-elect's proposals now were far more expansive. Now, the sectors that account for the most imports to the United States include electronic products, transportation equipment, chemicals and minerals, according to the U.S. International Trade Commission. And Taiwan, a key partner for the crucial U.S. semiconductor industry, was a target of Trump's rhetoric in the run-up to the election. Now, he suggested that Taiwan should pay for U.S. protection against the threat of China, which claims the island as its own territory and accused it of poaching the semiconductor industry. Now, this means any retaliation may affect U.S. tech giants like Apple and other companies which count Taiwan as a vital component of their supply chain. Tariffs could raise prices on clothing, toys, furniture, appliances, footwear, and travel goods, particularly items where China is a major supplier. According to the National Retail Federation, a U.S. trade group of which Walmart's U.S. head is the chair. Now, it is certainly one of the quickest things that could happen because it could kind of, you know, happen with a stroke of pen. Current tariffs are costing it about $100 million a year, which could double under Trump's proposals. Now, to be sure, companies started to ship production away from China during Trump's first term and continue to do so following legislation passed during Joe Biden's term designed to boost U.S. manufacturing. U.S. goods imports from China peaked at $538.5 billion in 2018, according to U.S. Census Bureau data, and were $433.3 billion over the 12 months ended in September. Businesses may also be better prepared to deal with shifts following the COVID-19 pandemic, numerous labor strikes, and disruptions to key waterways, like the Panama and Suez Canoes executives said. We've had so many disruptions and challenges that have forced us to make adapt adaptions. We are pretty well versed in managing through this. Tapestry CFO Scott Ross said. Now, we're already hearing large companies like Walmart and Lowe's already sounding the alarm about the impact of these tariffs on consumer prices. If they're worried, then we should be worried too. Because this means that the cost of living, which is already high, is about to get even higher. I'm talking about everyday essentials like food, housing, and utilities. All of these costs are expected to rise. And according to recent reports, the average household is already spending nearly $11,500 more annually to maintain the same standard of living as they had in January 2021. And with wages not keeping pace with inflation, it's no wonder people are getting anxious. In fact, a recent survey found that 67% of employees say their salary and wages aren't keeping up with the cost of living price increases. The reality is people are already struggling to make ends meet. That's a fact. But now, with prices set to rise even further, I don't know. Like, it's really hard to see how many individuals and families will cope. The cost of groceries just, guys. For example, let's just talk about the cost of groceries, which is expected to continue rising with the average weekly trip to the supermarket already costing around $270 for a family of two. I don't know, guys. I don't know. We have finally come to the end of the video, but what do my viewers have to say? Share your thoughts, your views as well in the comment section, and let's have a conversation there. What are your worries about the tariffs? What are you worried about? Thank you for always watching, and see you in my next video as we bring you another interesting video.